Welcome to the Wild Cherry Farm podcast. My name is Halina and in this space we'll talk about creativity, journaling, seasonal ideas and building a creative online business. Let's explore how to live more intentionally, create joy and design the life we've always dreamed of. Thanks for listening. Let's begin. Today's episode is all about a simple, powerful practice that has the potential to completely transform your life. Journaling. So often we can go through life not really knowing what's important to us. We get pushed along by society's expectations, school, parents and even our own ideas of what life should look like. But we never actually stop to think about what we really want. Sometimes we get moments where we feel like life could be more meaningful or special. We have these flashes of, I want something more, or there's more to life than this. But then we push those thoughts aside because they feel too unrealistic, too big, or even selfish. So we just stay on the same path, following what's easy and familiar. But if you have that feeling of unfulfillment, like there could be something more, journaling can be a powerful way to uncover those deeper truths. So today I want to talk about five specific ways that journaling can help you find your life's purpose. If you've ever felt stuck, uncertain about your direction or disconnected from what truly lights you up, then this episode is for you. By the end of today's conversation, you will have actionable steps you can start using right away to tap into the clarity that's already inside you, just waiting to be uncovered through the simple act of writing. So take your notebook, get comfortable and let's get started. Let's start with the first way journaling can help you find your life's purpose. Clarifying your values. Values are the core beliefs that guide our decisions, whether we're aware of them or not. But sometimes we're so busy living life that we don't even take a moment to think about what we truly value. Writing your thoughts down helps you figure out what really matters to you. For example, is stability more important than freedom? Do you value security and a steady income or is adventure and independence what you crave? Or maybe it's a bit of both. Journaling gives you the space to explore and uncover these things. If you keep journaling about the same thing, let's say you keep writing about wanting to exercise more or eat healthier. Over time it becomes hard to ignore. Eventually, you will get tired of hearing yourself say the same thing over and over again without doing anything about it. Journaling makes it clear what actions you need to take. And because those ideas are always there in your journal, they will slowly start to influence your decisions. You will find yourself making small changes. Maybe you buy healthier food at a supermarket because that's what you've been writing about. Little by little, you start bringing more of your values into your days. And here's a journal prompt to get you started. What are the moments in my life when I feel most fulfilled? When you reflect on moments of fulfillment, you will often find recurring themes. Maybe you feel fulfilled when you're helping others, creating something, or when you have freedom in your day. These are clues to your values. Another great prompt is, what beliefs guide my decisions? When you sit with these questions and allow yourself to write freely, you begin to see what really matters to you. And when you know your values, decisions about your future start to feel clearer and more aligned with your purpose. Let's get to the second point. Journaling reveals your true passions and interests. This one is similar to the first topic. When you journal regularly, you give yourself permission to express freely without judgment. As a result, you start noticing recurring themes in your writing, topics that excite you, activities that bring you joy, or ideas that spark curiosity. These patterns might give you clues about your genuine interests and pas passions. 
like a creative activity, a wish to live somewhere else, or an area of personal growth. Journaling allows you to peel back the layers of superficial desires and dig into what truly fulfills you. Moreover, the process of journaling helps clarify thoughts and feelings, providing insight into what resonates with you most deeply. As you reflect on your life experiences, you can identify the pursuits that give you a sense of purpose and excitement, guiding you toward a more aligned and passion-driven life. And here's a journal prompt to get you started. Spend 10 minutes journaling about what excites you to start uncovering hidden passions. Repeat this daily for three days if you want. Number three. Journaling helps you process emotional blocks. Journaling can also help you process emotional blocks. Those things that are holding you back without you even realizing it. I actually did a writing prompt recently that was supposed to help me with money blocks. I was asked to write down all the memories I had related to money, from childhood up to now. As I was writing, I remembered this incident that I hadn't thought was important at first. But the more I wrote, the more emotional I got. I started crying because I realized how much that experience had hurt me, and I hadn't even known it. Writing helped me bring that pain to light, and just by acknowledging it, I started healing. Journaling can do that. It lets you process things that are hidden in the background and stop them from secretly hurting you anymore. And here's another journal prompt to get you started with this area. Write freely about your fears and self-doubts for 15 minutes and see how your mind processes these blocks. Just observe and try not to judge. Number four, journaling helps you set intentions and visualize your future. When you put your thoughts on paper, certain goals and dreams start to emerge. These are things that might come up over and over again as you write. And eventually you can pinpoint them. You can look at these recurring themes and say, yes, this is a dream I have, or this is a goal I really want to make happen. Writing down your intentions and dreams makes them concrete, and then you can take steps to turn them into reality. Visualization is a powerful tool. When you start writing about your ideal future, you not only clarify your purpose, but you also create a roadmap for getting there. And here's a journal prompt. Write one page about your ideal day. Where and how do you wake up? What will you do first? How do you go through your day? Who is there with you? Number five. Journaling encourages consistent reflection and growth. Because journaling builds a habit of reflection on your thoughts and experiences, it helps you get better at understanding what's important to you. It's like this ongoing process where you're always learning about yourself and it helps you grow. For example, you might realize that family is really important to you, but when you look at your life, you're actually spending most of your time working. Or maybe the opposite. You're spending all your time with family, but you really want to focus on work or creating something for yourself. Journaling helps you notice these contradictions and take steps toward aligning your life with your values. Okay, let's summarize these five ways journaling can help you find your life's purpose. Number one, clarifying your values. Two, revealing your true passions and interests. 3. Processing emotional blocks. 4. Setting intentions and visualizing for your future. 5. Encouraging consistent reflection and growth. If there's one thing I hope you take away from today's episode, it's that journaling is an incredibly powerful tool for self-discovery. Maybe you're just getting started or you've been journaling for years. There's always something new to learn about yourself through writing. So I challenge you to take just 10 minutes today, grab a notebook, pick one of the prompts we discussed and start journaling. Thank you so much for listening. 
And if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe, leave a review and share it with someone who might benefit from it. Until next time, keep journaling and keep growing.